The next feature to implement is the input. So we want to ensure that when the input is empty, the button shows up as disabled. But the moment we type something, you know, it goes back to the solid variant just like this. And we can see an example here in ChatGPT is disabled right now. But the moment we start typing, it shows up as solid. So let's go back to our code to implement this. We need to be able to store the input value in a slice of states. So using new states, we're going to be storing the value of input. So underneath this first slice of states, we're going to create another slice of states for our input value. So input value and then the function that sets the input value. By default, it's going to be an empty string like so. We're also going to create a handle input value function and this sets the input value to, you know, the e dot target of value, whatever is being typed into the input. So underneath here, I create handle input value. Set input value to e dot target dot value. Now on our input, let's go back to where we have our input here. I think we have it right here within our center. So input should take a value and our value would be our input value. It should also take an onChange. And onChange will take the function we created earlier, which would be the handle input value function. Lastly, we need to disable the icon button when the value of the input is empty. So on the icon button here, we're just going to pass a disabled prop to it. I specify that it's disabled when the input value is empty, but we can make this even tighter by saying when it's absolutely empty. That means no character at all is in our input. So we go back to our interface, just as we specified right now, it's disabled because there's no value in it. And the moment we start to type, you see that it goes back to solid, which is perfect.